Over time, food has the power to make you stronger and leaner with naturally higher testosterone levels. But the wrong foods can do the exact opposite by raising estrogen, lowering testosterone, and causing a wide range of cascading side effects like gaining body fat, losing muscle mass, and becoming weaker and more tired. So many people try to raise their testosterone by eating foods like garlic, oysters, and ginger. But the truth is, avoiding foods that have the potential to raise your estrogen levels is far more impactful because naturally, we wouldn't be consuming a lot of the ingredients and foods that we have available to us today. So today I want to give you the eight worst foods that are likely to disrupt your hormones by raising estrogen and lowering testosterone. By minimizing these foods, you'll maximize your testosterone levels so you can feel more motivation, energy, and vitality. And first, you want to take a look at the kinds of fats that you're eating. Historically, human diets were a lot higher in omega-3 fatty acids compared to omega-6 fatty acids, mostly because people mostly ate foods like wild-caught fish, seeds, and leafy green vegetables. However, modern Western diets tend to be a lot higher in omega-6 fatty acids. You can check the label on most prepped foods in your grocery store, and you'll find out they're high in cheap vegetable oils like corn, soybean, cottonseed, and sunflower oils, which are all high in omega-6. But it's not just the vegetable oils. Even butter from cows and eggs from chickens that are fed regular grain-based diets skew more in the direction of omega-6 instead of omega-3. Now the problem with this is that excessive intake of omega-6 fatty acids can lead to an imbalance of certain hormones like estrogen and testosterone, especially when the omega-6s aren't balanced with omega-3s. This is because inside your body, omega-6 fatty acids are turned into these things called prostaglandins, which are essentially like messengers that tell our hormones what to do. If we have too many of these messengers, it can throw off the balance of our hormones. Now, on top of all that, omega-6 fatty acids can potentially disrupt testosterone to estrogen balance by causing inflammation. Chronic inflammation has been associated with alterations in hormone levels in many studies. So to reduce inflammation and maintain a more similar diet to our ancestors, try to incorporate more omega-3s with fatty fish like salmon and sardines, butter from grass-fed cows, and pasture-raised or free-range animal products like pasture-raised eggs instead of regular eggs. To help reduce omega-6s, you'll want to primarily stay away from most vegetable oils. And this is why you'll especially want to avoid our next food group that can negatively affect a man's hormones, processed foods. Men will often try to save time by eating meals that don't require much prep time. A perfect example of this is a frozen microwavable meal. These include frozen pizzas, TV dinners, and frozen entrees. These are all usually high in sodium, artificial additives, and unhealthy fats, which can interfere with testosterone production. It's the same story with most fast food. Regardless of whether it's burgers, fries, chicken nuggets, or other highly processed fast food options, eating fast food too often can definitely disrupt hormones in men. Trans fats are extremely harmful to your testosterone levels, so they've been removed or at least limited even in most processed foods. But deep fried foods like french fries, chicken nuggets, and fried chicken sandwiches, as well as many pastries all still commonly contain trans fats. Burgers are also commonly cooked in partially hydrogenated oils, which are a big source of trans fats too. There are multiple problems with trans fats. First, trans fats can have estrogenic effects by mimicking or interfering with the action of estrogen in the body, potentially leading to elevated estrogen levels. Second, the consumption of trans fats has been linked with lower testosterone production in men. And the thing is, decreased testosterone levels can lead to a relative increase in estrogen levels, further contributing to hormonal imbalance. So do your best to avoid highly processed foods and mostly stick to single ingredient natural foods. Next, we have to touch on alcohol because it can have some of the most devastating effects on your hormones in three major ways, especially if you consume too much of it. The first problem is that drinking too much alcohol can damage liver function, decreasing its ability to metabolize estrogen efficiently. This reduces the rate that estrogen is cleared from your body, leading to the accumulation of more and more estrogen over time. The second problem is that excessive alcohol consumption is linked to increased aromatase activity. Aromatase is an enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. Obviously, converting more of your testosterone into estrogen contributes to symptoms of estrogen dominance, like increased fat storage around areas like your chest, fatigue, and low energy, as well as sexual dysfunction. Now, the third issue with alcohol is that it can disrupt something known as the hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis, which directly regulates testosterone production in men. This can lead to decreased testosterone levels and heightened estrogen levels. It gets even worse if you excessively consume alcohol over time as that has been linked to testicular damage, which makes the testicles smaller and less effective at doing their job. 
Of course, moderate consumption of alcohol is not gonna cause all these negative effects, so let me define what moderate consumption looks like. For men, it's two standard drinks per day, and for women, it's one standard drink per day. A standard drink is defined as one 12 ounce can of beer, one five ounce glass of wine, or one shot of liquor, which is one and a half ounces. So whether you have a glass of wine every night of the week, or you cram your drinking sessions and drink all your alcohol over the weekend, you should keep in mind that over the course of the entire week, you shouldn't exceed an average of two drinks a day if you're a man, and one drink a day if you're a woman. Another group of foods that can pose a lot of issues for your testosterone to estrogen balance are high sugar foods. These are things like candy, cookies, ice cream, and they all provide that instant dopamine rush. However, that comes at a cost. If your diet consists of many high sugar foods, you're a lot more likely to gain fat since sugar is so calorically dense while having almost no nutritional value. High sugar foods can also increase rather than decrease appetite and make you crave more sweets throughout the day. This makes it easy to eat too many calories from sugar leading to the excess calories being stored as fat. Fat cells can produce estrogen, once again through aromatization. And as the fat accumulates, you produce more and more estrogen at the expense of your testosterone. Obviously just a couple Oreos or having a few cheat meals throughout the week aren't gonna do much harm, but constantly consuming too much sugar, even from things like breakfast cereals, over time, you become a lot more likely to not only gain body fat, but to also develop insulin resistance, making it more difficult for your body to manage your blood sugar. On its own, insulin resistance can negatively affect the production of testosterone and estrogen, and it can also cause you to gain more fat, creating a vicious cycle. Another interesting find is that some studies have suggested that consuming large amounts of mint or mint flavored products may have an anti-androgenic effect, potentially impacting testosterone levels in men. For example, one study published in the Journal of Applied Pharmaceutical Science found that spearmint extract reduced serum testosterone levels in male rats. Obviously, this does not directly translate to how it would affect testosterone levels in humans, but we do have another study with female participants that showed that drinking spearmint herbal tea daily caused a significant decline in testosterone levels. So even though the small amount of mint that you get from a few pieces of gum will likely not have a negative effect, as a precautionary measure, it might be best to stay away from mint tea, mint ice cream, and other products high in mint. Another less common food that may cause issues with hormones in men is licorice. This is because licorice contains glycerizic acid, which is the compound that gives licorice its unique sweet taste. So even though it tastes great, researchers found that exposing isolated rats to a moderate amount of glycerizic acid significantly blocked testosterone production. The reason for this was because it significantly inhibited the activity of 17-beta-HSD, which is an enzyme essential for testosterone production. Unfortunately, these negative effects of glyceric acid don't seem only limited to rats. In the separate study, researchers tested how it influences human beings. In this study, a group of men were given seven grams of licorice in the form of candy tablets, and they contained about half a gram of glyceric acid. Surprisingly, after just four days, the average testosterone levels dropped from 21 to 15.9 nanomoles per liter. So do your best to limit herbal teas that contain licorice root, licorice candy, and licorice flavored snacks and desserts. So that about wraps it up. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new about optimizing your estrogen and testosterone, as well as the negative effects that certain foods can have on both. If you have enjoyed it and you would like to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Also, if you'd like to take the next step and you're looking for a simplified approach to burning fat and building muscle that's streamlined and comes with a full workout plan, a video exercise library, a customizable diet plan, a recipe book, and an accountability coach to help guide you through the whole process, well then visit my website where you can get all of this for free just by putting your best foot forward and sticking to the plan. To find out how my clients are losing 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat in only six weeks, and to learn how to pack on pound after pound of muscle in the shortest amount of time possible, you can click the link in the description below or simply visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.